Hello and welcome to today's video. Today I am reviewing one of the pens that I think is actually one of the best value fountain pens on the market. It is right at the lower end. It is the Pilot Varsity. Now the Varsity uh, comes in a number of different versions, things like the V pen, all those sorts of things. It's had a number of different, um, you know, physical designs and patterns and prints and stuff on the outside. This is the version I'm looking at today. This is one I've been carrying for a while. This was purchased from Jet Pens in the US a little while ago, and there's a reason I am covering it now, and that is the fact that I think this is one of the most versatile fountain pens for everyday use on the market. So, why am I so excited about this pen? Well, a couple of reasons. Firstly, it's made by Pilot. Now, Pilot is one of those brands that is just reliable. Their high-end pens, such as the, you know, it, things like the Custom 823, right down to their more budget-friendly, you know, what can be described as a disposable fountain pen, you know, the Varsity here. This pen retails at Jet Pens for three US dollars. This is the medium and this is the black. It comes in a range of different colors. There's blues, reds, like a turquoise, a pink, a purple, stuff like that. You can buy them in a pack uh, or individually or in a set of all the different colors, all that sort of stuff, the multiple different varieties. But as a singular one black fountain pen, $3 pre-inked, all of that sort of stuff. It has a fairly standard steel, you know, cheapo nib on it, but it's Pilot. So it actually writes really well, and it's super reliable. Simple snap cap, plastic cap with a you know little flimsy plastic clip on it, plastic body with you know the print uh, on it. It looks kind of like what you'd expect from like an everyday ballpoint pen or roller ball from Pilot or Pentel or any of those sorts of brands. But this is a fountain pen. You can see that through the feed, you can see the uh, through the grip section. Sorry, you can see the ink it comes it's you know what they call their uh, advanced liquid ink feed system uh, and as i said the pen comes pre-inked and uh, they say it is not refillable but if you go online uh, you'll see that there are a multitude of different videos and tutorials on how to refill the pilot varsity um, i'm reviewing it with the ink that came in it so it's not a fancy pen it's cheap, you chuck it in the bottom of your bag, and it writes first time every time. I carry one of these in my pencil case at all times, and that's for a couple of reasons. Firstly, particularly at the moment, I'm traveling quite a lot. And so these pens are, it is a fountain pen, a liquid ink pen that you can travel with, you can fly with this. It's not going to leak in your bag. And if it does, it's a couple of little drops in the cap, nothing to really be worried about. If it gets damaged, it's not so much of a problem. You're not, you know, throwing away a large amount of money. Uh, and also, as I said, it's super reliable. You can leave it for ages, come back and write with it, and it will always write. And at the price, if you do decide to make them disposable as opposed to refilling them, then it is not so bad. It's a pretty basic pen. The way it writes, the, you know, the feel on the page is basic you're not going to get any flex you're not going to get any you know variation or there's not a huge variety of nibs available all those sorts of things but that's not what this pen uh, is about i love this pen for a number of reasons which i'll get into i'll do some pros and cons in a minute but one of them is it's such a great entryway into using fountain pens things like this and the preppy they are made by platinum they are great entry level pens that you can give to someone that are ready to go uh, and it's really a bit of a gateway so let's do a size comparison. Uh, it is, this is in comparison to another Pilot pen, the Pilot Metropolitan. So you can see it's only slightly uh, smaller there than the Metropolitan. It's a fairly like standard size pen. If you're coming from the ballpoint pen world, this is not gonna be a bad option for you. As I said, it's a steel nib, so you're not sort of pushing any like, uh, you know, it's hard to damage. Um, and if you do damage it, well, it was three dollars uncapped and posted you can see it still maintains a pretty sort of decent length and if you decided to write with this um, uncapped once again the comparison is fairly similar let's talk some specifications now when it is capped it's 132 millimeters 
when it's posted, it's 147, um, which is a pretty decent size. Plastic lightweight cap means you don't back weight the pen at all. There's no sort of sharp step downs or anything to have to worry about like onto the grip section or anywhere. And because it's not a, it's not a slippery plastic uh, either, it's very much similar to, as I said, a ballpoint pen uh, in a lot of ways. Uh, and uh, uncapped, it's 115, which is probably just big enough for most people to use uh, uncapped. Um, it's a smaller nib. But uh, it is a, you know, it's not, a, it's a smaller pen in a lot of ways. It's a less fancy pen. You don't expect a big, you know, number 15 nib or anything on a pen like this. The weight of the pen is 10 grams, which is pretty light. Uh, it's much lighter than, say, Alami Safari, which weighs in at about 18. Uh, and seven of that is in the body. Three of that is in the cap. Uh, so as I said, when you post the pen, you're not back weighting it at all. The weight is still very, very manageable in the hand, uh, regardless of how you actually write with it. So we'll just do a quick writing sample with it. Um, and what we have here is the pilot. Writing around the screen, didn't quite line it up properly. Uh, varsity, and I'll put here V-Pen, very similar. Uh, with the Pilot Black ink in it that, you know, I'll put pre-loaded ink. Um, this is a medium. It's a fairly smooth pen. I wouldn't say it's particularly wet. It is liquid ink, so it's gonna feel wetter than you know a standard rollerball or ballpoint pen. Um, but it is smooth. There's a, there's a hint of feedback. It's not like buttery smooth, but it is definitely not scratchy. And the line that it actually uh, puts down the page is fairly consistent. Um, I think it's one of those pens that if you write smooth and slow with it, uh, you get a better amount of ink down on the page and a more consistent amount of ink. If we write fast. Not sure if that skip was me or if it was the pen, um, as that I am writing around a weird sort of setup here. Um, you know, and it does have a, if I put the nib off axis, it does have a sort of a, not a sweet spot perhaps, uh, but you do need the pen, you know, the nib lined up on the page. Reverse writing, if you decide this is something you need to do, is very possible. And you know, the line difference isn't that noticeable. It probably takes it from like a standard media, fine medium to just a slightly, well, sort of like a slightly broad fine, if that makes sense. That's the sort of range we're working in here. And it is a very, very stiff uh, nib um, and you're not going to get any line variation out of that but that is not why you buy a pen like this. So let's talk some pros and cons here for the Pilot Varsity. Uh, firstly let's start with the cons because they are few. Um, it's not the smoothest nib like it is smooth enough for a three dollar you know basic entry level you know disposable office store fountain pen. It's perfectly smooth. I don't think you would complain about writing with it. You're not gonna like get that horrible feeling on the back of your neck or anything like that. Um, an aesthetic issue is that with this sort of print on the pen, um, you do get little like signs of wear, uh, where it sort of scrapes along things in your pencil case or whatever, but it's just on the print and it doesn't affect the uh, performance or function of the pen at all. The other issue I have with a pen like this is that it is considered disposable. There is no way to refill this pen. Like you cannot unscrew the section and to refill it, you have to actually take this entire front section out, which uh, is not ideal. Um, disposable means waste and waste is not great. It's one of the reasons we get into fountain pens uh, is you know, to have less waste. Now, what I tend to do is I use these for a couple of reasons. Firstly, as I said, I carry one in my backpack every day. So it's getting used by, you know, like not all the time. I don't always have a pen. Like I don't always have, I've al always got other pens with me. The best times I use these are around flights or if, you know, I run out of ink or something like that but it will always write or if I happen to forget a pen, you know. So these are lasting me for quite a while. Um, there's 
you know, they actually do have quite a good amount of ink in them. Uh, so you are able to write for quite a while with this, much more than a standard cartridge, for instance. Uh, and uh, I also think these are a great way to get people into the hobby. So you give them one of these and then hopefully they decide to move into sort of using more sustainable fountain pens. Uh, or you can, as I said, use one of those tutorials to learn how to refill it. But the pros of this pen, the price, it's a $3 US fountain pen made by Pilot that writes really, really well and really, really reliably. That reliability is such a pro. Being able to take this out of a bag after months of not using it and have it just right. I keep a bunch of these in a drawer. When this one runs out or whatever, I take, pick one, a new one up and away I go. It's that simple. And of course, what goes along with some of this is the fact that this pen is great for travel. It doesn't leak as much as a regular fountain pen when you fly. Uh, so you can carry this in your pencil case or in your bag with flying and you don't have to worry quite so much. It's also robust enough to be able to you know, be taken to school and on you know, public transport and backpacks, all those sorts of things. And the fact that it's also not a particularly flashy pen, if you are so determined to only write with fountain pens at you know, university or school, this may not be a terrible option. It's not gonna garner that much attention that uh, people are gonna see it as an object worth stealing. So this was the Pilot Varsity, a very simple, no frills, very affordable fountain pen from Pilot. It's a well-known pen. There are so many reviews and so many videos that deal with this pen online from retailers and other reviewers. I just thought I'd put my two cents uh, out there because I think it's a, a pen worth showing and a pen I've mentioned a number of times on this channel, but never done its own feature on. So I hope you found this video interesting and useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notifications button if you want to stay up to date with the videos that I produce. Please feel free to get in touch using any of the platforms listed below. You can find me on Instagram or Twitter at the underscore offstage underscore me, or you can contact me on any of my videos here, or drop me an email which is listed down below. If you've got products you think I should be looking at, or if there's a way you'd like to support the channel by sponsoring a review or providing an item for review, I would love to hear from you. In the meantime, enjoy your pens, regardless of how much they cost, and I'll talk to you soon.